saw the infection of the Hall of Fame uh, Mike Pinay and Don West. Don West, the greatest, one of the greatest announcers ever. And Mike Pinay, another great announcer. But he, what's the piece of Don West? But they both deserve that induction to the Hall of Fame of Impact Wrestling. What should I say, TNA Wrestling? Because the other team, that's what it used to be called before they turned to Impact Wrestling. But now it turned it back to TNA. TNA, it's been back to the original name, TNA. I'm happy for that. Here's why. One, there was a lot of good stuff that happened at TNA. A lot of good matches. A lot of good wrestling. Hey, what's today doing? There's a lot of good wrestlers in there. A lot of ring announcers and commentators. And man, I miss the old days of TNA. Hey, D hey, David. But they both deserve. But yeah, they deserve it. They deserve that whole, the Hall of Fame. They deserve it. Thank you, Mike Tomei. Thank you, Don West. Thank you both. You both, both deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. So yeah. Yeah, I know that. Hmm. I think next month I'm gonna shave. In not November, but in December. But yeah. Oh, you wanna make Wesley great again now? Also, wait a minute, hold up. It ain't just Don West and Mark today that made it great. It was AJ Styles, Kazarian, uh, Bill Money Incorporated, Team Canada, Team USA, um, Eric Young, Abyss, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, Robert Wood, and the list goes on. Team 3D, and Kurt Angle, and Steam, and Jeff Jarrett, and Jerry Jarrett, and Scott Demore and that list goes on and on and on. Oh yeah, don't forget EC3 and Dixie Carter. All those matches from the past before it, it turned into. So yeah, they made it great. They made TNA what it is to this day. Now the thing is, it could do better, it would do better when they bring back the old TNA thing and then they actually bring back a lot of old wrestlers that used to be a part of that and also new wrestlers and make it great again. But that's what they want to make it great again. I'm hoping they do because I miss old TNA because I used to watch TNA. Here's what happened, man. I used to watch WWE since 2000, right? Well, I started watching TNA back in 2005, 2006. That's when I knew about TNA. I mean, I knew it was like. I never knew about TNA until like 2005, 2006. So when I started watching that, I was like, dang, I started watching WWE in 2000. So I've been a fan of wrestling for, I've been a fan of wrestling for 23 years. And that's what made me want to become a wrestler, you know, like that for so many years. And now I'm actually doing it since 2022. And now the thing is about it though, but I watched TNA, the first time I watched it was at one of my friend's house. Now, it was when I was a kid, though. I was like I was like 10, 11 years old. I was really young. But, yeah, I was like 10 or 6. I think I was like 11, but 12, or I was 12. I don't remember. I don't remember. But anyway, I know I was really young. I saw it certainly. I saw Kurt Angle there. I was like, what? Kurt Angle's there? He used to be in WWE, boy. I didn't know where he went. So I looked at the TNA. And that's when I found out Kurt Angle moved to TNA. I was like, holy cow. He moved to TNA. And then I started watching it on and off. 
same with WWE on and off. I mean, I did watch it for 23 years, but when I was younger, I didn't really have a lot of TV, so we didn't have enough money for it because I was really young and I couldn't make money. So my mom didn't make enough for it. So I watched it on and off, but when I did watch it, it was been my Uncle Dylan actually recorded it for me. So on and off, yes, I did watch it, but I missed a lot of good shows. I mean, I did watch it on and off, but WWE I didn't watch on and off. It was TNA that I watched on and off. But WWE I did watch. Actually, no, I took it back. Once I started watching it, I told Dylan about it, and that's when he started recording Impact Wrestling slash TNA. So I started watching that a lot when I went to my grandma's on the weekend to watch it, you know? Because when I could watch it, because at my house, we didn't have money for it, so. I mean, when I did have it, I barely, I mean, I did watch it, but it's like, it was, you know, I would record it to myself, because that was how bad my TV was. Actually, I record it when I had to go to bed, too, so, honestly, I didn't watch it on and off. Well, I didn't really watch it on and off. I did watch it, but I watched it, like, on the weekends only. And then when some hit, I watched it a lot, but it's like, yeah. I didn't know he moved to TNA, but then I saw AJ Styles, then I saw Casillian, then I saw Robert Roode, and then I saw uh, James Storm, then I saw Casillian, Christopher Daniels, Samoa Joe, and Biz, and the list goes on and on and on. And then Jordan Austin moved to, uh, to, uh, to TNA too, I forgot about that. He used to be there for a little bit too. Uh, who else was there? There was Hulk Hogan, he moved there, but I didn't know why. Then there was Rick Flair, Jeff Hardy, then there was Matt Hardy, then there was uh, who else? There was a lot of people that ran it. Then I did watch it one time live. Hey, give me that game. How you doing? I watched it live once before. I legit watched it live once. And yes, I did meet Abyss, but at that time, I did not know. He's actually nice, Abyss is. But at that time when I did see him that first time, back in 2000, I don't remember who it was. I know it was years ago. It was like, not, was well, sometime between 2008 through 2015, maybe? Yeah, between now. No, actually, no. In the back, it was 2008 through 2013 because I moved up here. So when I moved up here, I didn't get to watch it a whole lot. Well, I did watch wrestling, but it was like WWE and like little you know, independent circuits. But I did watch Impact Wrestling once. So it was between 2008 through 2013. We watched it live. And then, thank you for that. I'll go watch it live after this. But after, uh, um, but yeah, when I met Abyss the first time, me and my Uncle Dylan and my sister, not my sister, my mom and my brother and I think my stepdad, uh, he was kind of mean. I mean, he was mad. Yeah, I think it was because it was a lot of people and he was tired. So I went, but I met with him. I think he was tired at the time. But he's actually a nice dude. I actually met him like recently, like sometime this year or last year. He's actually nice. So yeah. He used to be. In, he used to work for NWF before he uh, went to Impact. Well, to TNA, and then he went to WWE. He's in WWE now, but he went to TNA first. Well, first he went to NWF, like Independent Circuits. Then he went to TNA. Now he's in WWE as a uh, producer. So he's a nice dude. Though. At the time when I met him, I was back in I don't remember year, but we uh, went there. I think he was tired. That's probably why he's mad. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. yeah, it was kind of fun. The people that built TNA are not there no more. Most of them are not there no more. So when Scott DeMoy said Odin Sting and Jeff Jarrett and Jerry Jarrett and Dixie Carter and him and two other people made it, I was like, oh, uh, you guys forgot about Mike Tanay and Don West. You guys forgot about, well, you didn't forget him. He actually inducted him after that and then said it. But they kind of forgot about him after, uh, when they said they're coming back as TNA. He forgot a lot of people. He forgot AJ Styles and you know, this goes on and on. Like, he forgot a lot of people. I'm like, oh, you guys were the only one that built that show. You guys forgot a lot of people that also made it fucking great. So, yeah, I'm like, huh. 
they forgot a lot about the a lot of people that were the pillars of that company. They, they forgot James Dorn, Robert Reed, Casarian, Christopher Daniels, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, and this goes on. I'm like, dude, how do you forget those people, man? It says Sting cut angle. Oh, no, did I say cut angle? I don't remember the said cut angle. I think it says Sting to good and like five other people. I don't remember who they were, but they forgot a lot of people who made it great, though. I'm like. But that's not, that's not get mad about that. Because also, Aaron Knight went over there too for a little bit. Same with um, Drew McIntyre. He went over there for a little bit too. And uh, who else? Uh, Chris, Chris, Chris Masters went over there for a little bit. Who else? Uh, I think Carlito did too. I think maybe once. Uh, who else? There was a lot of people that went there, dude. To Impact Wrestling slash TNA. I need to stop saying Impact. It's TNA. <laughs> anyway, that went to a lot. A lot of people went to that show. A lot. I'm so done. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end the stream here. I'm just hoping I can make wrestling great again, but. I'll try my best to make it as entertaining as everybody else did that are dead and still alive. Rest in peace to the ones that died. Eddie Guerrero, the list goes on. Not going to say everybody's name. Until all the ones are still alive and also the ones that retired, they all made it great. But I want to try to bring it back to the place where it used to be like. But anyway, I'm going to end the stream here. I'll talk to you guys in my next stream, next video, whatever. Love you all.